demonstrate how to use a sharp scientific calculator to work with degrees, minutes and seconds. So suppose I have an angle of 57 degrees and 45 minutes to work out the cosine. I press cosine, then 57. Now I've got my DMS button here, which is degrees, minutes and seconds. If I press that, I now have 57 degrees. Now I said 45 minutes, so I click on the 45 then hit that button again, then we have minutes. If I wanted seconds, suppose it was six seconds, hit the six, and if I hit the degrees, minutes, seconds, we have degrees, minutes, seconds. Hit equals, and there's the cosine of that angle. Now, if I wanted to uh, change that back into um, the angle, I'd have to use uh, the second function and then cosine of that answer. And I would have to press alpha and then equals to get the last answer. And the answer here is not in degrees, minutes and seconds. It's in fact in degrees only, 57.75 degrees. To convert that into degrees, minutes, seconds, above the DMS button, you've got this uh, degree symbol. If I were to choose that by going second function, I now have 57 degrees, 45 minutes and 6 seconds. Now the Casio scientific calculator works much, much the same way. If I were to uh, hit cosine of 57 and hit the degrees, minutes, second button, which is this one here, and then 45 minutes, and then 6 seconds, you'll notice it doesn't have the uh, dash and double dash as it does in the other calculator. And there's the cosine of the angle. If I were to go backwards once again, I'd have to go for uh, shift cosine for inverse cos of that last answer. There's an answer button down here. The answer here once again is in degrees, not degrees, minutes, seconds. So once again, above the degree, minute, second button, you've got an arrow. So I press shift, then that button, and there it is in degrees, minutes, and seconds.